How's it going guys? It's Kyle or the How To Guy 123 here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make Ubuntu look like Windows 10. This is ideal for new users who are switching from Windows to Linux and want a more familiar desktop environment. I chose to focus this tutorial on a Windows 10 theme rather than a Windows 11 theme for those who are unable to upgrade and want to get rid of Windows entirely. So here's an example of the final product. We have our Windows 10 desktop background and a black taskbar at the bottom of the screen. We have a Windows 10 icon for our start menu, and here's our start menu, and we have a Windows style start menu. We even have our recycling bin, users folder, and computer icons on our desktop. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but I'd say it looks 95% like Windows. I think the only thing that's missing is the start menu, it's missing the tiles like on Windows 10. It's more of a Windows 7 start menu, but I never really use those tiles anyways on Windows 10, and I think the start menu is fine. So let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So I just switched over to a brand new uh, Ubuntu 20.04 LTS install. And the first step to make this look like Ubuntu is to install the Cinnamon desktop environment. The Cinnamon desktop environment is used in other distributions like Linux Mint. It's a Windows style desktop environment with a taskbar at the bottom of your screen and a start menu. And to install the Cinnamon desktop environment, we're first going to need to open up the terminal. And to open up the terminal, I'm going to press Ctrl, Alt, and T on my keyboard. And that's going to bring up the terminal here. First, we need to add the universe repository. Now, this should come with Ubuntu by default, but just to make sure, we're going to run the command sudo add apt repository universe. So go ahead and hit enter, and it's going to ask for your password. And you can see here, universe distribution component is already enabled for all sources. Now, let's go ahead and do sudo apt update just to make sure our repositories are up to date. All right, so now that sudo apt update is done, I'm going to go ahead and clear the terminal and we'll install the cinnamon desktop environment with this command here, sudo apt install cinnamon desktop environment. Go ahead and hit enter once you have the command typed in and now it's going to ask you, do you want to download and install the cinnamon desktop environment? Just type yes or a Y and hit enter and it's going to go ahead and download and install the cinnamon desktop environment. The Cinnamon desktop environment usually takes about 5 minutes to download and install, so I'll be back once it is finished. So now that our Cinnamon desktop has finished downloading and installing, we can now exit out of the terminal. And we're going to want to come up here to the power button in Ubuntu, click power slash log off, and you're going to want to log out of your account. So do I want to log out of my account? Yes. And once you're back here on the lock screen, go ahead and click your username and in the bottom right hand corner there's going to be this gear button to click on so go ahead and click on it and this is where we can switch our desktop environment so now you should have the cinnamon option so go ahead and click on it and now log into your account and now once we're back in ubuntu you can see our desktop environment looks a lot more like windows we have our taskbar at the bottom of the screen here we got a start menu just like windows our clock and volume is in the bottom right hand corner uh, but now we can actually reskin this to look a lot more like Windows 10. So now go ahead and open up your internet browser and go to the first link in the description below. And that's for opendesktop.org. And this is a website that has a lot of different desktop themes that you can download for Linux. And we're going to want to download the Redstone theme. The Redstone theme is from a project called the Boomerang Project. And this project has a whole bunch of themes for Linux like a Windows XP theme, Windows 7, Vista, I believe even Mac and Windows 11. Uh, but the redstone theme is the Windows 10 theme. So once you're on this page, go over here to the download button and there's going to be two options. So as of recording this video, there's a 3.2 zip and a 3.2 dark zip. So 3.2 zip is for the Windows 10 light theme and 3.2 dark is for Windows 10's dark theme. So you can choose either one of these. I prefer the dark theme. So that's the one I'm going to download and go ahead and save the file. And it's a pretty small file, it's only 1.1 megabytes, so it's not going to take too long to download. And by default, it's going to go to your downloads folder. I'm going to open up my file explorer and then click on downloads. And you can see we have a zip file here with our Windows 10 theme. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on it to open it in the archive manager. We can minimize out of the downloads folder for now. And I'm going to drag this archive manager to the right side of my screen. I'm going to come down here to the file explorer and right click on it and then click on home. So that's going to open up a new file explorer window in my home directory. So I'm going to put that on the left side of my screen. So the left side of my screen is my home directory and the right side is the archive manager with our Windows 10 theme. So in our home directory, right click and then check the box for show hidden files. This is going to show all the hidden folders in your home directory. 
anything with a dot in Linux is going to be a hidden folder. So all these dot directories are going to be shown. We're going to right click again in our home directory, create a new folder, and we're going to call this dot themes. By the way, you can do this all with the terminal if you would like. However, this video is geared towards beginners to Linux, so I'm going to try and avoid using the terminal as much as possible. So now I'm going to open up the themes folder here, and I'm going to drag the Windows 10 theme from our archive manager into the themes folder. And there we go. We can now exit out of our themes folder, and we can exit out of the archive manager. Now come down here to the start button and type in themes, and you're going to want to open up the program with the suit icon. Once Themes has opened, we can now reskin our desktop environment to look more like Windows 10. So under Window Borders, go ahead and click on Default and choose Windows 10. Under Controls, once again, choose Windows 10. And under Desktop, choose Windows 10. And that's going to reskin our taskbar and our application borders to look like Windows 10. Uh, so we can actually go a step further and change the icons, minimize out the Themes program, uh, now go to the second link in the description below, and this is going to bring you to a GitHub page to where we can download our Windows 10 icons. So click on the code button here and then choose download zip, and now go ahead and save the zip file, and this zip file contains all of our Windows 10 icons. So we're going to head back into our downloads folder, uh, go ahead and open the Windows 10 master.zip folder in our archive manager, and I'm going to put that back over here to the right side of my screen. Uh, we're going to want to go back to our home directory, have that to the right side of our screen, and we're going to want to go to the icons folder. If this icons folder isn't here, you're going to want to create it manually. But I already have the icons folder, so I'm going to go ahead and double click on it to open it. And I'm going to drag this Windows 10 master folder from our archive manager into the icons folder. We can now close out of the archive manager and the icons folder, head back into themes, and under icons, choose Windows 10 master. And now if we look at our taskbar or we open the start menu, you can see all of the icons are switched to the Windows 10 icons. You can see all the LibreOffice programs have the Microsoft Office icons, the games have the Xbox icons. Uh, now head back into our themes and change the mouse pointer to DMZ white. And that's all we need to do in the themes program here so we can close out of it. Uh, now let's change our desktop background. So the third link in the description below will be a link for a 4K version of the new Windows 10 desktop background. So go ahead and right click on the image and save image as. I'll just put it in my pictures for now and save it. Minimize out of our out of Firefox now. So now right click on your desktop and then choose change desktop background. Come down here to pictures and select our Windows 10 uh, desktop background. And you can see it's now changed to the Windows 10 desktop background. Uh, next let's change the start menu icon. So right click on it and then choose configure. Uh, under appearance, enable, use a custom icon and label. Go ahead and select this icon here and come down here to places and find the white windows logo and select it and under text here just erase menu and that's going to make it so there's no text beside your start menu we can close out of this now the next thing i like to do is right click on the uh, taskbar here and click on panel settings and i usually just make this a little bit bigger i usually set the panel height to like 45 uh maybe 47 is a good number yeah i think 47 is good uh, we can now close out of that. The next thing I like to do is put the My Computer and Recycling Bin icons on the desktop. So to do that, open the Start menu, uh, come here to the System Settings, click on Desktop, and enable Computer, Trash, and I also like to enable the Home Directory and have these icons on the desktop. And that's pretty much all you really need to do to make the Ubuntu look like Windows 10. I usually like to take this one step further, and if you go to the fourth link in the description below, I have a Google Drive link for some Windows 10 sounds, and we can replace these in Ubuntu. So I'm going to click on the download button here, and I'll save the file again. We don't need Firefox anymore, so I'll just close out of it. Uh, I'm going to head into my downloads. I'm going to right click on the zip file and extract here. Uh, we can put the sounds folder wherever we want, but I'm going to uh, cut it. Uh, I'm going to go to my home directory, and I'm going to create a new file or a new folder called uh, dot sounds and I'm going to paste the sounds folder in the dot sounds folder. I'm going to rename it to Windows 10 sound just to make it a little bit more organized. I'm going to exit out of the sounds folder and to replace the sounds in Ubuntu just open the start menu, system settings, scroll down to where it says sound, now click on the sounds tab so we'll enable the starting cinnamon sound. Click on the mp3 icon here to open a sound file. 
I'm going to head to our home directory, uh, show hidden folders, and open these sounds and Windows 10 sounds, and we'll select the logon.wav file. I usually set the volume to about 75%, and if we play it, you can hear our sound. Next we'll choose leaving cinnamon, and we'll set that to our log off sound. I uh, next set the inserting a device sound to hardware insert and removing a device to hardware remove. And then finally showing a notification, I set that to asterisk. And there we go. So we can actually test out a sound. I'll just open the start menu here and log out of uh, Ubuntu here and log out. And you can hear our sound playing. There's our login sound. And that's pretty much all you need to do to make Ubuntu look like Windows 10. And that brings us to the end of the tutorial. If this video helped, please leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.